Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is the 68 Charger and yes, it's got a J in the VIN. It is a real Hemi car, guys. The car is phenomenal and you're gonna love checking it out. So go to the website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll put it on the lift so you can check out the underside. We're gonna pop the hood, fire up the Hemi. We're gonna get out and drive it. We're gonna look inside the trunk. We're gonna look at the interior. We're gonna show you everything you wanna see so you can make a great decision on your Charger investment. So come on up and we're gonna fire it up for you right now. All right, this car is beautiful. Look at that grill, man. It is sharp. The bumper looks good. The paint is jumping, man. I love it. That color is just gorgeous. The hood fits well. When you look down the side of the car, straight as an arrow. And take a look at that VIN tag right there. That is exactly what everybody's looking at. That J for that Hemi. Man, it is a Hemi car and she's a 68. Yeah, there's the badge right there. It says Hemi. The vinyl top's in beautiful shape. Door handle looks good. Doors operate nice and smooth. The door jams nice and clean and nicely painted. The latch was out when they restored it. The rubber's done. The door panel looks good. The wood steering wheel looks great. The four speed shifter in there. The two tone interior is gorgeous. It is beautiful. All the interior is looking great. We got seat belts in the front and in the rear. The shoulder belts are there. All the trim around the edges, around the back window, the package tray, everything looks nice and neat. All the chrome on the dash looks good. The lenses look good. The gauge faces look great. It is beautiful, guys. Now, I think I got the keys in my back pocket here. NASCAR style feel um, Phil, I love that. 68 round tail lights are looking hot. We got the uh, back bumper chrome looking good. Look inside this trunk here. Oh, I always forget those Mopar keys going upside down. Look at that trunk. That looks like what it looked like when it come out of the factory. Got the spare tire in there. All the paint work down in here is looking beautiful. We got beautiful paint on the bottom side of the deck lid. And look at that. Still got um, grease pencil marks under there. Beautiful. You look down the side of it, straight as an arrow. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we own this Hemi Charger. So we've spent the time to check it out before we bought it. Then when we get them here to the shop, we inspect them so we can tell you all about the car. When you call Tom at 248-974-9513. Now we've got about 235 cars in stock and we own every one of those cars. And we're bringing in between 45 and 50 new cars every month. So check us out on Facebook, YouTube, follow us on our web channel. Now I'm involved in buying every one of the cars here at Vanguard. So what that means to you is you're getting my expertise helping you pick out your dream car. All right, Hemi Charger time. Four speed guys. This is the real deal. This Charger was born with a Hemi. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this Charger to you no matter where you live in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. Now we actually have financing on these cars too. So if you need some help with financing, don't worry, we got three bankers we work with. We will hook you up, no problem whatsoever. Homie takes about 15 minutes on the phone with the banker and we can get this dream parked in your driveway, no matter where you live in the world. Listen to this thing, man. It's just raw power here. Now Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. 
So call anytime and he'll tell you just how easy it is to get this dream in your drive. And we're gonna take a look down here on the dash. We get around the corner and I get in second gear. You can see the tack is working, the speedo's working. Looks like all the gauges are working. The dash is in beautiful shape. It's got this beautiful wood steering wheel. The four-speed Hurst shifter here. I'll tell you what, this car is amazing, guys. Now, we're right outside the Motor City. So if you'd like to come check out the car in person, we would love to have you come in. Now, we sell about 95% of our cars sight unseen, so we don't get to meet a lot of our customers, but we do love it when the customers come in. As a matter of fact, I had a gentleman come in this morning. He flew in this morning, checked out his GTO. We took him back to the airport, and he's already on his way home. It was just that easy for you. You know, we're only 20 minutes from the airport. We're open on Saturdays. If you want to send an inspector, we will treat the inspector just like we would treat you. We'll get the car out, we'll check it out, we'll get it up on the lift, whatever you want to see. Now, if you want to see some additional pictures of the car, no problem. You just tell us exactly what you want. We'll get them right over to you. If you want to do some additional work to the car, no problem there either. We've got a whole team of mechanics here at Vanguard that can take care of that for you. Now, we're gonna do something nobody else does. We're gonna put the car up in the air so you can check out the underside. They wanna pop the hood and check out that Hemi. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 1968 Charger, starting from the back forward, as we always do. We do have a, uh, looks like a brand new, fresh gas tank in it. Um, I can see the top of it, you know, through this little crack here. It looks like it's in good shape up there as well. They replaced the straps as well when they did the gas tank. Um, looks like uh, the exhaust was put on the car right around the time the car was restored, which is not that long ago. Um, they replaced the leaf springs and the shackles and the bushings. All of that has been done on the car forward, uh, pivot bushing as well. Um, something else I'd like to point out is you're going to see this all throughout the bottom of the car here, that it looks like they tried to recreate the factory type undercoat that these cars, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, around this time it was an option. I'm sure some Mopar guy is going to tell me exactly if it was or not. Um, now it looks like we do have uh, brand new shocks on the car as well. We've got a Dana 60 rear end here, right around like a 373 to 1 gear ratio. It is a sure grip in it. Um, looks like the whip hose looks to be new on this thing. Brake line looks to be new and it, if I'm not mistaken, it's stainless. Uh, we do have factory type mufflers here. The drive shaft actually is bare metal just as they should be uh, from the factory. And something else I'd like to point out is that is a really pretty TIG weld right there. Um, it looks like we have a brand new U-joint in the thing, both front and rear. Floor pans look like they're in pretty good shape here. I don't see any evidence of patchwork, but I'm not going to say for certain because it has been undercoated. But I do not see any obvious seams at all on it, and all this spot weld uh, area here where the transmission cross member piece comes in, I don't see any lifting or anything like that going on. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this probably looks to be the original sheet metal to it. Um, of course, once again, brand new brake line, continuing to see that up here. Uh, fuel line right here looks like it's been upgraded, looks to be a little bit bigger. Coming forward to that, this is a Chrysler A833 four-speed transmission. This is the big dog transmission for these things. Uh, good transmission, very, very strong. They're notoriously strong. Moving forward to that, I do not know if it's original to the car or not. The, uh, the numbers are no longer there on the pad, so it's going to be kind of difficult to say what, really where it is or what it is or not. Uh, the transmission inspection cover, or I should say clutch inspection cover, is all in place. Uh, this is the underside of our Hemi block. We're going to get to that in just a second. Um, coming forward to that, this here looks like it's in really good shape. A couple little nicks, but nothing, uh, nothing too bad. Sticking your hands up inside the cross member here, and I don't feel any sorts of uh, any dirt or anything like that that's up in there. Maybe a little bit of a film of oil, but you know what? That's okay because that's going to keep it from rusting. Um, Move forward of all of that stuff. Looks like our front end has been gone through recently. We do have our uh, uh, disc brakes here in the front, the four piston disc brakes. Looks like a upper ball joint has been replaced. Everything is painted uh, independently of one another, which is something I like to see during a restoration as opposed to something being all hosed one color. I absolutely despise that. Um, looks like we do have uh, brand new shocks in the front as well. Uh, everything here in the front end has been paint marked. I'm not certain if that is supposed to be original on these Mopars or not, but I do see paint marks looking like it would be an original type job. Um, everything here looks to be serviceable and all the parts of course look to be new, um, including lower control arms here. And I know that these are kind of a bear to do these uh, uh, bushings in these here and it all looks to be brand new good stuff. Same thing with the upper control arms. They even have the snubbers or like the bump stops on them. It's all here. The tires look like the tread's in great shape. The lower part of her core support here 
excellent shape. I don't see any evidence of rot at all. Overall, really nice job restoring this car. Um, it's not super overdone. It's, it's pretty darn nice. A really, really nice driver. Let's take a look at the uh, wheels and tires. All right, for wheels and tires, we have two 2570R15s, a BF Goodrich, a Silvertown radials. Um, basically, it's pretty similar to a radial TA, but you do have the red line on it, which is cool, but this, of course, is not the original type red line. This is a uh, modern radial tire. Um, now, as far as rim goes, we do have just the Magnum style rim that's on this thing. We, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was an option for these cars or it came original. I'm not certain, but you see a lot of them with them on them. Um, and overall, the paint looks like it's in excellent shape. You look up in there in the uh, wheel well, pretty nice shape up there. The undercoat is uh, continuing to kind of go on throughout there, but I certainly don't see any rust or anything spotty going on there. You look low on your body lines, or excuse me, not body lines, but past the body line here. You can see that the paint's all in really good shape here. The body guy get, get lazy uh, coming down through here. Same thing here, low on the fender. And a popular spot for the, everything on these cars, the rust, typical with a lot of them, is this water drip hole here. This fills up with crap, and that's where your rot hole starts, just right around here where all the stuff sits and holds moisture. I can stick my hand behind all of this, and I don't even feel pitting. There's no dirt, there's nothing behind here. This thing was taken apart, uh, blowed out and cleaned properly, probably during this car's life, probably very often to prevent that from happening because it took no time for that to start. Overall, your pinch weld looks like it's in pretty good shape all the way down through here. The bounce again, the body guy didn't get lazy going all the way down. Overall, pretty nice. Let's take a look at uh, the rear. All right, guys, for rear, we have the same size as the front. Two, there it is, 225, 70R15. Same Magnum style wheel. And once again, you can take a look at our paintwork from the bottom side of here. You look at it in the reflection of our light. You can see that it's in really good shape here. Body line continuing to look good. If you look back here, I see spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, all the way down through here. The stripe continues all the way to the very bottom. Overall, a pretty nice job. And once again, the body guy didn't get lazy below this body line like you like to see on a lot of the lower quality restoration. So overall, uh, I tip my hat to him for that. And that all being said, let's go take a look at the Hemi. All right, guys, underneath the hood here, we have a 426 Hemi. Now, as I'm sure you've had uh, Greg tell you earlier in this video, this car was actually born with a Hemi in it. Unfortunately, it isn't this particular Hemi. This Hemi is a, a 1967 model year Hemi, cast late 1966 for a 1967 model year car. And uh, add credence to it being a 1967 model year Hemi, the VIN code is on the back of the bell housing, uh, just as it, as it would have been. Now, as far as carburetors go, we have two Edelbrock um, four barrels on, uh, you know, underneath here, just like this thing would have had two uh, twin Carter AFBs. Um, and basically all Edelbrock is is a Carter AFB. Um, moving forward of all of that stuff, it looks to be pretty well done, pretty original type. We, you can see here we've got like the Mopar Correct hoses, valve covers with that nice wrinkle black that they came with back in the day, overall really nice. Set of Chrysler wires on it. Um, I love this big old uh, spaceship looking into, or excuse me, air cleaner. Um, underneath it, we do have a, a Mopar intake on this thing as well, aluminum. Uh, it has been painted, but it is indeed aluminum. Um, outside of all of that, it looks like we have the, uh, the nice battery that looks like it's the um, original type battery, but you can uh, take a look inside of there and you can see that there are uh, modern cells inside of this thing, so you do not have to fill this thing with water. So it is a modern look-alike, but it's one of the nicer ones. It's not just a top on it. So overall, um, I, like this, I like these a lot, Well, money well spent. We do have an original type radiator with the Mopar stamp on it. They've got all of the stickers all over everywhere that where they need to be. I mean, overall, the wiring harness looks to be pretty fresh in the car. Wide promoter looks brand new. The firewall and the, um, uh, I guess you said the inner fenders, all that stuff looks excellent. They even have the little, um, the little closeout panels over here that the people, you know, a lot of alignment guys just went and threw those, threw those out. Um, overall, pretty nice restoration on the thing. Nice Mopar alternator. Um, overall, it's a pretty nice piece, pretty nice driver, and if you'd like to have this piece parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let Vanguard Motorcycles park this thing in your driveway.